My name is Inga Mewburn. I'm a professor at the Australian National University and I'm the Director of Researcher Development there. I think it's a really unique format, for, especially for working with PhD students, and that's my main area of expertise. And getting them together in interdisciplinary settings can actually be really difficult. Um, sometimes you've really got to give them a way to have glue to work together. And I think what a hackathon does is provide this sort of framework for action. And I think what's real, I've never seen a hackathon like this, why I was interested in coming all the way from Australia just to see what was happening here. And I think that unique combination of these quite forward thinking companies and PhD students and academics, and it seems to be kind of happy chaos at the moment. And that's what you really like to see in a, in a creative event like this. And I'm really excited to see what outcomes there are. Apparently I'm judging tomorrow. So um, I'll be able to see everything that everyone's doing and also just check in with the groups as they're working. So it's a really interesting, fun format, I think. So I've been thinking and reading about neurodivergence and neurodiversity this year in preparation for a really large scale project. What we aim to do first of all is an international survey of academics, PhD students, and to see how neurodivergence actually plays into um, study and into work and what spaces and places encourage creative work and inclusion. And so what's really interesting for me, I think, is um, getting a range of people to talk about that. The Nothing About Us Without Us a slogan that the neurodivergent movement, if you like to call it that, has is a really powerful one. But there's also that we need to be in there together, all of us, working together and bringing our unique insights. And then like a, a a situation like this enables a lot of listening and I really responded to Gokal's um, talk uh, where he talked about that process of li listening and engaging actively and empathetically with others and I thought Aurelia's talk from Google was extraordinary to see that the work that they're doing inside there and Toma and Karin this morning also talked about workplace well-being. So I thought that those first couple of talks really seeded um, some really interesting cognitive food for our participants um, to, to work with. And of course, you've got the sensory toys and you've got the Lego and you've got this kind of rich environment for play. And I, I'm really interested to see how that turns out because what some of the studies and uh, that have been carried out in academia seem to be very much in a deficit model. So they're very much about what's gone wrong for people, what are the barriers to people. And of course, we need to address that. But this is a way to harness the strengths of those people. And I think that's really important.